My name is David Sola. I'm a professor of strategy and management at DSCP Europe in London and Paris. I teach in the domain of strategy and transformation. So what is that uh, excites me is to look at how company can renew themselves or young company can grow up very, very fast. Of course, uh, trying to reduce the intrinsic risk of failure that uh, is present in any venture that has a high growth in, in their DNA. What is business model disruption? Well, you're, it's before your very eyes that a company like Uber, like Airbnb, like PayPal are disrupting many different industries. Um, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Many other disruptions are happening just because technology has an, an exponential growth at this very moment. And this exponential growth is not coped by the companies very well. What I'm going to talk today is how first to spot those disruptions uh, early enough so that you can cope with them and then uh, how to manage them and eventually how to become a disruptor yourself. We're going to touch on a, a lot of examples, we're going to look at, uh, at best practices but most of all I hope I'm going to get the audience to trigger their thinking because there is only one solution to innovation is to ask the right questions. The solution will come afterwards. I think this topic might be very relevant for Mauritius. You are a, a wonderful country, uh, well positioned uh, to take on the disruption. Of course, you, had, uh, you have an history in industry like the sugarcane and the textile, but now more and more you're working on the banking and offshore um, activities. So technology could really make you to create a bridge between your island, uh, your beautiful island, and uh, not just the, the African continent, but uh, all the other continents. And I believe that disruption uh, and disruptive technology could really help you to further put you on the map and allow your wonderful talent uh, locally, that uh, you raise locally, as well as becoming an attractive place for many talents uh, to, to come and get educated here and possibly live around here. I believe that you have a lot of advantages that we could discuss uh, in another session, but uh, just to name a few, you have uh, wonderful education. Most Mauritian people speak two languages, English and French. You have a very attractive uh, fiscal and uh, economic uh, situation and uh, you are not very distant uh, from a timeline per perspective and therefore I believe you are super well placed to take on. Of course, one question is for you is uh, to take on uh, disruptive te technologies and disruptive innovation, you need to be prepared to change. And that is something that uh, the Western world is struggling with. But if you're able to, to move on faster than the others, you will have a great advantage. So I hope that this is interesting for you and I, I hope to see you soon at the Medin uh, Education Village at the ESCP programs.